GMP could and should have done much more to protect them. The Greater Manchester Police Chief Constable apologises to victims of the Rochdale grooming gang 10 years after the trial. So stay with us. First, though, they were just teenage girls when they were targeted by the Rochdale grooming gang. They've been fighting for 10 years for an apology from Greater Manchester Police. And tonight they have finally heard the words they've been waiting for. The Chief Constable, Stephen Watson, told them his force had let them down. The women were repeatedly raped and sexually abused by the gang and treated as criminals by the authorities. Today they said it was a relief that they were finally being recognised as completely innocent victims who had needed protection. We can cross live now to Tim Scott, who is at the force headquarters for us tonight. Tim, the women met the chief constable earlier. Yes, they did, Lucy, and you know it's taken 10 years since the conviction of the Rochdale grooming gang for Greater Manchester Police to issue that apology as well as pay out substantial damages to three survivors of the gang's abuse. The three women were all girls when the abuse took place. When they reported what happened, they were either ignored or treated as criminals themselves. And those police failings, the failures to respond to the allegations, well, it meant that the gang were free to continue with their abuse over a period of years. Nine men were eventually convicted and today the three survivors who want to remain anonymous welcome that apology from GMP. They released short statements. One said, the way I was treated at the time had a terrible impact on my life for years after the abuse ended. As a victim, I should never have been treated the way I was. Another said, it's been 10 years and they'd never accepted what really Really happened. If we'd never found lawyers, I don't know if they ever would have apologised to us. Now, GMP have refused our request for an interview today, but Chief Constable Stephen Watson did release this statement earlier. Today is not about Greater Manchester Police, but about those victims who, in the past, have been let down when they needed our help in the most traumatic and horrific circumstances. I have now personally delivered my apology to some of these victims for the failings Greater Manchester Police had in its contact with those who suffered child sexual exploitation in Rochdale. It is a matter of profound personal regret that the childhoods of these victims were so cruelly impacted by the dreadful experiences they endured. GMP could and should have done much more to protect them. Now, earlier I spoke to ex-GMP detective Maggie Oliver. She'd left the force in disgust at the way it had treated the survivors, and she attended their meeting with the chief constable earlier today. We are really grateful that the new chief constable has apologised. Um, it's ten years too late, but we can't do anything about the previous chief constables and the organisation blocking this apology for so long. It's better late than never. Um, we're all hoping that this will bring in a new era where they do not repeat the failures to other victims that these girls have had to endure. This has been 10 years, a battle from start to finish. Without Harriet and Kate from the Centre for Women's Justice and my perseverance, this would never have happened. They would never have got the apology and I just hope that GMP have learnt lessons, that it's not just empty words, that we get real change. I would like to see this as an opportunity for one police force in this country to learn lessons, to lead as an example for all the other police forces who are failing victims and survivors throughout the whole country because this is not a historical problem. This is going on today. Can you uh, give us a sense of how the girls, what they said afterwards or how they're feeling about this? I think that they are relieved finally that they can maybe begin to draw a line under it, um, put their lives back together and begin to build a future. This whole affair has indeed left a stain on Greater Manchester Police's reputation, but as you've heard from Maggie Oliver there, today's apology does mean perhaps that the three survivors can now begin to rebuild their lives. Lucy, Andy. OK, Tim Scott in Manchester, thank you.